Okay, we're ready to learn about eighth notes and eighth rests. So our new rhythm is going to be an eighth rest. The rhythmic value of an eighth rest is one half of a beat. Kind of looks like a little seven here equals half a beat. Just like an eighth note by itself would be half a beat of sound. An eighth rest would be half a beat of silence. So we want to have both options available to us. Use that plus sign when writing the count for eighth notes and eighth rests. Now I'm going to have you, as all rests are indicated, write this on any kind of rest that you might have. Now the eighth rest looked like the number seven. Okay. You don't have to put that little dash there, but when we draw them down below, you'll see how we do it. Okay. Number one, clap the rhythm while counting out loud. Okay, here we go. We're going to put our hands out when we do these eighth rests, but we have to do them quicker now. Now, before we begin, I'm going to do this. For every rest that we have, we want to make sure that we put the brackets around it, and that will help us do that. So we'll do the first measure together. It would sound like this. One and two and three and four and. Second measure would sound like this. One and two and three and four and. Third measure would be one and two and three and four and. And the last measure, we call that syncopated rhythms playing on the off beats. One and two and three and four and. Now, we're going to try that one measure at a time and then we'll put it together. Try it again, you clap and count, I'll play it on piano. One and two, measure one and go, and one and two and three and four and. Next measure, ready and go. One and two and three and four and. Third measure, go and one and two and three and four. Rest, last measure and go and one and two and three and four and. Now we're going to do it all together, four measures without stopping. So we chunked each measure. Now we need to be able to do it from left to right. One and two, number one and go. And one and two and three and four 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 and. and of course, being able to write your numbers clap and count them, and then perform them on the instrument is our final goal. And if you have a strong sense of beat and pulse, you'll be able to do just that. The only way you get that is by doing it. Put a check there next to number one. Number two, write the count below the notes and then clap the rhythm while counting out loud. So number one, they gave you the numbers. Now we have to write our own. Here's our first measure. Here's our second measure. We know that would be on two, so this must be on three. Here's our third measure. Now it always starts on one. Oftentimes kids will tell me, Mr. Ostro, that is one and, or and one, no. An eighth rest does not always indicate that it is starting an and. Sometimes you have them on the beat. As long as it's the first thing in the measure, it's going to be on one. That would make this the and the beat one. Notice that it's not beamed together because it's showing separation. They also didn't want to put three together because that would look weird. This is one, so this must be and. And as long as you do your math, then you will notice that the measures are complete. Two plus half plus half plus one, two, three, four. That makes four beats total. And you can do that for every measure on here. Okay. And you're going to clap and count each measure. Hopefully we all have the numbers at this point. Here's measure one of number two. One and two, clap and count and go and. One and two and three and four and. And kind of act.
accenting the ands there. Notice the mouth is always saying one and two and three and four and, and I'm just playing where the notes would, would be. Here's measure two. Started on the half though. One and two, measure two and go. One and two and three and four and. Good, next measure, measure three, ready and go. And one and two and three and four and. Measure four, last one and go and. One and two and three and four and. Piece of cake. So we'll put a check next to number two. I'm going to encourage you to try that one on your own without stopping from left to right. Number three, write the count below the notes and then clap the rhythm while counting out loud. So something changed here. Besides, we're in the bass clef. It doesn't matter if you're in treble or bass. You need to know how to read these. You need to write our numbers first. We're not going to have anything bigger than two or the and to be two because we're in two four times. So this would be one and... This would be two. We're going to put a bracket around it. And measure two. One, this must start on two. It looks suspiciously like the first measure. And one and two and put your brackets around the and to beat one and the and to beat two. Next measure, easy one. One, two. Next measure. One, and, now this would be two, and, last measure, one and two. There you go. Okay, now, I'm going to encourage you to clap out loud, clap and count, and I'm going to play it on the piano, and let's see how well you do. We'll do this twice. So let's see, it starts on a C. Here we go. One and two and ready and go and. One and two and one and two. One and two and one and two and. One and two and one and two and. There we go. And I need to work on that myself too. So we're gonna do that one more time. One and two, the two, four and go and one and two 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 and done. Piece of cake. That was fun and it sounded cool. So we'll put a check next to number three. Number four, moving on down. Some eighth notes are missing their flags or beams. Draw the missing flags and beams. So we need to make sure that we're drawing both. Okay, well, we gotta complete the measure. So we'll start by doing our numbers. We know this would be one, two. This would be three and. So to complete it, we gotta add a flag. That's going to be a note sound. Okay, second measure, and they gave you both here. This would be one, two, three, and. So we need to add our beam. Okay. Next measure, something wrong here. How are we going to make this work? Well, an easy way to do this, really the only way we can do this, is to do this. Let's make this one and two, and this would then be three. So we need to draw a flag. Or a beam. Well, if they're grouped together, one and, then we probably want to draw a beam. Could you draw two single eighth notes? Yes, you could, but it would look a little weird. So anytime it, it's paired with a number, if an and is paired with a number, meaning it's before it, then it would look like that. Okay? This next measure, there's only one real way to do it. So we'll put it here, one. This will be an and. We'll have to add a flag. Two, three. So to make this right, just add a little curly cue there, a little flag, and you are good. Okay? We're going to put a check here. Number five. 
write in the count below the notes and then add the missing bar lines. So we're in 4-4 time. Always look at your time signature first. 1 plus 2 plus 3, this would be 4, bar line. 1, remember you can have a single eighth note rest on beat 1, as long as it's right after the bar line. So this one would be and, 2, and. Notice that they do a flag here and then a beam here. And that's to show the separation of the beats. Okay. Here's 3, this would be 4 of course, so we're going to put a bar line here. 1, and 2, and 3, 4 in brackets, bar line, 1, 2, now this would then be and, because that's only an eighth rest, it gets half of a beat, so sharing the beat with it is going to be the single eighth note flag. This then would be 3 plus 4. And let's go ahead and try clapping and counting that one. I think I might be able to play that one on a piano with my amazing piano skills. All right, number five. Here we go. One and two and ready and go and. I got every note that time. Go ahead and put a check next to number five. I hope you were clapping and counting along and reading the music from left to right. Number six, some eighth notes are missing their flags or beams. Draw the missing flags and beams. So pretty much like the one above, but all we have to do now is the ones above, number four. But we're in 4-4 four, four time and we're in bass clef. Bass clef really doesn't have anything to do with it, but we do need to complete the measures. One, ooh, and then we got four things here. So we need something that will last two beats. Well, four quarter notes would be four beats, so we need to cut that in half. Let's go ahead and add some beams. And since they're paired, that makes it really easy to do. Three and four and, and always write your numbers where applicable. Next measure, we need to do the same here because we're gonna leave the half note alone. So we have, but instead of at the end of the measure, we're going to do it at the beginning of the measure. Two and three. Notice all we had to do was connect them, basically by quarter notes, and then we add a beam between them. Oh, we got eight something, eight things going on here. So the only things that would complete that measure are eight notes, because we can fit eight eighth notes in each measure. So we can't do anything about the eighth note rests. We know those must be on the beats. So that'll be one, this will be and, add a flag. This will be two, this will be and, add a flag. This will be three, this will be and, add a flag. Notice the flag goes towards the note head. The last one will be four, add a flag, put your and. The last measure here. We're going to leave the half note alone because we can't go any bigger. And it, we certainly can't add a flag to it. It wouldn't be anything. So we have to do something here. Let's see. This would be one. If we made this the and, and since it's paired with an eighth rest, we have to add a flag instead of a beam. This would be two and, and we have to, in this case, add a beam. And, of course, the last beat would be three. It would carry over to four. Put a check there. Let's see if I can read that one. Go ahead and clap and count that one along with me. Hopefully you got your math done. Here we go. Lots of skips here for Mr. Ostro. One and two, number six, and slow go. One and two and three.
there you go. And that was number six.